Good evening, everyone. Guy DeMarco here. I had a request on from my YouTube channel to go ahead and show how I did the install of the Area 419 uh, bipod adapter or bipod mount. So this rail right here. So going to pop the extremely tight bipod off. What's up everybody? Guy DeMarco, Team POI, back again doing another install video, right? So I've got my CZ457 stock, it's disassembled, right? I took the barrel action out because I want to take those sling studs off. With that, they've got some channel locks in there or some uh, lock nuts in there. I'm gonna be installing this CZ457 rail where these go. So what I need to do is take these off so I can put these on. Not a big deal, just gotta take them out. So I'm gonna get on. Uh, so I will be doing kind of a step-by-step -step process on how I do this. So first thing is pop the barreled action out of your receiver. You guys didn't need to see that, so I just kind of skipped it, right? And you're gonna wanna take these out. Not hard, I'm gonna use the Allen that came with the scope rail and use a 3 8 wrench to pull that out. All right, so cue magic fast forward music. Okay, there we go. So now it's flush, I've got both of those out. So, QD sling, right there, goes in the back. Cool. And for me, hopefully, this all marries up nice and dandy. Sweet. I'm going to continue to use the lock nuts instead of the supplied hardware, all right? It's like a flat washer with some teeth on it, binds into the stock. I'm sure that's fine. You can continue to use those if I want. If you want, that's totally fine. But these very small Allens that are flush, right? It's used to sit inside that channel. Nice, flush, it's not gonna get in the way of your pick rail. So hopefully these are the same length. Pretty stinking close. Need my infinite wisdom. Oh, that barely catches a thread. So maybe I'm gonna have to buy some new hardware. I think that would probably be the safest thing to do is buy new hardware um, to mount on there. Cause I don't wanna put a sling stud in there and then have a sling stud sticking that far up out of the top. So I will go to the hardware store and I will buy some new hardware. But also something that I'm going to do is if you look, this is where the hole lines up, but that's where my old hole is. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably drilling down through, countersinking a hole and making it truly custom only as a DeMarco would, because that's kind of our knack as DeMarcos. So I'm gonna cut this short, and then I'm gonna keep jamming with the rest of this build. So stay tuned, I shall return. All right, thanks guys. And then show you guys this rail. So I've got a little light in the background so we can show a little bit more detail here. So in this, you've got a channel that runs all the way uh, pretty much the whole length of it and then you've got a set screw or a set uh, drilled pilot hole at the top comes with included hardware I'll drop all the specs and the links and everything like that down below but 
they asked me how I mounted this. Now, this did have um, pre-drilled holes in it already. In fact, it was about right here and right here is where those two holes lined up. Now, that should have been fine. Um, it would have worked, but I like my bipods to be as far forward as possible. So I did not use the standard screws and lock nuts that were on the original stock. I actually used part of the uh, materials from Area 419 that came with it, and then I went to the hardware store and bought a longer um, Allen, and then I actually ended up using some, uh, basically they're the wing nuts that have the teeth on them. I don't know what they're actually called. They just grab into wood. So um, pretty simple here on the bottom one. It just sat straight flush in that hole. I did draw, uh, drill it out a little bit bigger to fit the actual cup of that uh, screw in there. And then for the front one, that wasn't gonna work because um, I needed to have the barrel clear this channel. So I took a three quarter inch um, spade bit, whatever you wanna call it, and then just drilled down in there nice and slow to make sure that I had a recess for that to sit in there. And then ran a new screw up through the bottom of that, fit in there perfectly, and then just uh, just mounted it to there. Made sure that uh, I did have to drill a new hole, if you can see in there. This is an original hole from the Boyd's uh, tactical stock. This is the other original hole. I had to drill and then bore out that hole. So I used that spade bit to do that. It was a nice, slow process. I did throw it in... Uh, in my drill press but I didn't have the best bit the sharpest bit to do this so it kind of looks like crap but hey guess what it's underneath the barrel nobody's gonna see it um, yeah so I literally just dropped something on my toe probably important but this is the area 419 improved bipod mount it does have a QD swivel in here um, so I don't have to have something extra to run my sling for NRL 22 competitions. The overall length on this, um, once again, I'll put it down somewhere in this, uh, in the description of this, but for those that wanted to see how that went, pretty simple. Um, the, you know, DIY, uh, DIY at home gunsmith air quotes, um, it was fun. It only took me about 20 minutes to get, uh, everything put together once I had the parts, but I actually did have to go to the hardware store and pick up some new stuff. So, I mean, there you have it. It was pretty simple, um, works really well. I'm running the, uh, the B&T, b and uh, bipod. I can run that as far forward as I want, lock that thing down there, and then it's not moving. Um, the bipod obviously moves, but that rail, it's secured, it's tight threw some blue Loctite on there, and then this thing is ready to go to work. So there you go, check it out. Check out B&T for your uh, AccuShot bipods, and then check out Area 419 for uh, all your shooting, cool guy, machined out, small business uh, tools and accessories for your firearms, both rim fire and center fire. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good night. See you at the range whenever all this crap is done. Thanks. Later.